Hello and welcome to Cloudwoods.net's latest video. My name is Mauricio, and today we'll be showing you how to unblock YouTube without hassle. If you like this video and would like to receive more content like it in the future, please make sure to like and subscribe by hitting also the bell icon so that you receive notifications whenever we put out new content. But now, let's get straight to the video. YouTube is generally available everywhere, but in some cases you'll get a blank screen and a message that you can view whatever it is that you want to watch. This can be for a few reasons, but these usually break down to copyright issues or because a network admin decided you're wasting too much time watching videos rather than studying or working. <laughs> Most schools and universities and offices have blocks on all kinds of websites that will feel will waste your precious time and attention. However, at Cloudwoods, we feel that most of us at least are the best judges on how to spend our minutes. So let's go through a few simple ways in which you can bypass these nasty blocks. First up, you can simply change your DNS settings. Most admins just put a superficial block up, figuring that you won't be able to circumvent it. Thing is, you can, and it's pretty easy. Just go into your computer's DNS settings, you should have access, and change it from automatic to 8.8.8.8. That's Google's public DNS server and should get you to watching whatever you want on YouTube. If that doesn't work, you can also try using a proxy. I've linked a full article below, but in short, a proxy reroutes your connection so you can pretend you're somewhere else. There are some pretty good ones out there that are free to use and that will get you into YouTube most of the time anyway. One step up from proxies are virtual private networks, which work along similar lines, but are way, way, way more dependable. Proxies will sometimes just not work, but VPNs always will get you into YouTube and get you watching whatever you want. They're also much safer than proxies in that they protect your connection while you're browsing so cyber criminals can't get to your data. The downside of VPNs is that they cost money, though the cost is manageable if you pick the right one. I've linked our buyer's guide for VPNs below, so check it out if you want to know more about the topic of VPNs. You can also check out our Express VPN video review by clicking on the card in the top right corner of the screen. With these three tips, we'll leave you today. And with some luck, all you need to do is change the DNS address to unblock YouTube, but if that fails, you can always fall back on proxies and VPNs. While proxies are handy tools, VPNs are a direct upgrade and we always recommend you use them not just to unblock sites, but also to stay safe while surfing. And I left my top recommendation of a VPN in the description box below, so please do check it out. So if you like this video, as always, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and also do hit that bell icon because then you get a notification on your mobile when we put out new content. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully we're going to see us next time. Bye-bye.